Right. This is uh, this is uh, Maria Lefrostrup, who's a journalist for the Guardian, the Guardian newspaper, uh, in response to a letter that she's had uh, from a, a desperate woman, desperate for um, children and love. Now, please forgive me if I'm not particularly fluent in this video, but my glasses are down to one blurred lens, so it's a little difficult for me to read. But here's the letter. The dilemma. Like me, most of my friends are in their 30s, some turning 40. Those with partners and children have disappeared other than posting their idyllic family life. We've tried all of the dating things, found no one, and biological clocks are ticking. One friend said her life is not worth living because she doesn't have a partner or a child. In the past, I'd give advice and encouragement, suggest things might turn out all right in the end. There's still time. But now there's actually not time. I can't encourage because life isn't going how we thought it would. We're being left behind and without the financial ability for housing, to freeze eggs or go it alone or adopt. I get harassed by some friends, almost bullying me into going on dating apps because it worked for them, but I hated it. Men were rude, unkind, and I felt physically threatened. I found myself despising all men. So it's the same old story. She despises men. It's all because of course, it's always men's fault. Absolutely, women not prepared to, to accept any of their own agency, uh, any responsibility for any of their own possible wrongdoings. And they certainly have no interest in the divorce system, which is the main reason, of course, why most men uh, who don't want to get married anymore don't want to get married any anymore. So she's, as usual, just another woman demanding and uh, they're not... They're not going to get what they want. Anyway, Mariella replies, what a fascinating dilemma. That tells me she's not, she doesn't seem to be really taking it th this seriously. It's rare to get correspondence that embraces the bigger picture beyond the confines of pressing personal concerns. And this is without doubt a major social issue of our time. Okay, she's starting to take it seriously. I experienced the passing of... Uh, my 30s myself with great relief uh, so predominant were the issues she blabbers on to say that she actually did end up uh, getting what she wanted in life herself um, married with children she th then goes on to uh, very predictably uh, give the, the the impression that women are still in what she describes as an untenable position whatever ever the hell that means and that it's pretty much all the fault of men. She doesn't actually say that, but that's the implication and that women have it so difficult, so hard, no one understands, blah, blah. You get the picture. I'll leave the, obviously I'll leave a, a link to the uh, article in the comment section and pin it to the top so that you can have a look at it. Look at it. Uh, and she goes on to say, it's hopefully cheering for you to know that for many of my generation, despite our fears, it's actually worked out. I'm not just referring to those who found last minute fathers, for late children, but also uh, those who are now, for the most part, enjoying exciting, fulfilled 50s, unfettered by parental responsibility. Okay, so there are lots of women who enjoy being childless and single. Best of luck to them is what I say, genuinely. But the vast majority of women, of course, do want children. And the woman who wrote her this letter uh, does not want to hear any of that kind of stuff because it's not going to be comforting to someone who actually wants to have children and a partner, and a partner to, uh, to hear that kind of stuff. She then goes on to uh, talk about Brexit. She brings Brexit into the occasion. Well, she works for The Guardian, so there you go. She also incorporates into a feminist rant uh, that women and children, violence against women and children isn't being taken seriously in Westminster and Parliament. Uh, despite the fact that most violence against children is committed by women. And it pretty much continues for the whole thing as just a feminist rant. She doesn't really seem to care about uh, the woman who wrote to her or her friends at all to me. And she finishes, finishes off by saying, I'm convinced that if you and your friends focus further on shaping the world you want and worry less about what the fates will follow, your chances of fulfillment and happiness will soar and of course unfollow all the smug friends married friends on blah 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 behind the scenes are probably ruining the day they shacked up as often as you wish you could join them there you go 
So because my video editor is still messed up and won't do much more than five minutes, I can't go on any, any further. Like I say, I'll leave the, uh, the thing there and uh, discuss, guys. What do you think?